What's up everybody, it's Blind Run, and I just wanted to go ahead and do another quick tutorial on how to fix the resolution and the frame rate in Prototype for PC. So Prototype was on sale on the Steam Store this weekend, and there were a couple of things that are wrong with it. First of all, the game tends to have a pretty low frame rate. That fix is actually pretty easy. If you guys go down into your search box and just type in device manager, you can also do this a couple other ways, but you can go through your control panel, so on and so forth, but this is the quickest way. I just find easy. You just type it in, you're, you're done. Um, Basically, you're going to want to scroll down and find your HID devices, or sorry, HID devices, that's redundant, isn't it? Anyways, you're going to find your human interface devices, uh, aka HID, and the very first one, you're going to want to go ahead and disable. This is because the frame rate is apparently has some sort of bug in it that will tank your frame rate into the 30s with the 980 Ti, which is what I'm currently running if you don't do this. Now, if that disables something you need really bad, obviously that could become a problem for you. But it seems to just always be this first one in the list. So I'm not sure why this is a big problem, but it unfortunately the developers are not around anymore, so you're not going to be able to go ask them or get a patch for it. So we're going to have to do everything on our own. Welcome to the PC Master Race. The next problem is that the game is pretty much blocked or capped at 720p for resolution. Luckily there is a fix and in the description box below I will leave a link to a Mediafire download for the prototype allres.zip and I will leave a link for my sources down there. If you click on that link we can go to download and you'll get the download of the zip file. You can show it in folder. Burp, 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 burp. Show in folder. And you'll see that you have the zip file. Now I already had one so I shouldn't have downloaded that again. But it's okay. Yay for NAS. If you guys want to figure out how to do a NAS with Hyper-V as well, I'll leave a link for the video in the description box below. So here you'll just go ahead and right click and say extract files. And then you're going to want to find, I have WinRAR on here right now. I think that, let's see, is there another one? No, okay. So, I only have WinRAR currently. Sometimes there's one built into Windows 10 that you can use as well. But anyways, you're going to want to find your Steam folder. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to find Steam. And then you're going to go into your Steam Apps folder, Common. This is going to take a while. I have 300 and something games loaded right now. <laughs> and then we're going to want to go down and find prototype. So down here, L-M-N-O-P, 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 you have prototype. And you're just going to want to do it to the root prototype folder and click OK. Now, before you do click OK, though, let me clarify. You're going to want to go ahead and navigate to that folder on your own and probably back it up just in case this file doesn't seem to have a problem for me or anybody else that's currently using it on the forums but just in case you'll just go into your steam steam apps once again common and you'll go down to prototype once again like I said I got a lot of games and you'll want to find the prototype uh, engine inef.dll file just go ahead and click copy and go to your desktop and paste it there and just have a backup and it'll say do you want to replace and you just click yes to all I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it and Yay for ad. Media fire bullshit. And then you guys will be good to go. Now, a couple things about this just to let you know exactly what's going on here. Is that the 
resolution will now be set to your desktop resolution. And the problem with that is you will not be able to change the resolution in game. So you'll have to actually change the resolution of your desktop environment and then the game will detect whatever that is. So theoretically you should be able to even play in 4K and have no problem. So there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace the fuck out.